Watch you guys got another video here for you on phishing emails what we're going to do here is take a look at a variety of different phishing emails that have been sent to my email account i just wanted to bring this to your attention quite useful information but you can see here this can be easily misled if you get a lot of um products like i do then having these sort of emails coming in all the time you have to be a bit more vigilant uh, to make sure that you don't fall foul to uh, say a missed parcel that might have been delivered to you it does happen but they don't uh, send emails like this one this is supposedly from ups and you can see here there's a link here as soon as you hover over this link you'll see it goes to a different location so it'll be a redirect to a completely different location to a ups which you may be thinking it is that could be uh, some sort of script on that site could be uh, malicious malware that will be dropped onto the system or even ransomware which can encrypt all your data. All sorts of uh, things can happen with these particular types of emails. So you have to be super careful when you're um, clicking on stuff inside here. Now you can see this doesn't have any information to me whatsoever. It doesn't say, hi Brian, uh, delivery failure notification. It doesn't say anything like that. It's just very generic and very random, which means they're probably sending these out to loads of different people. You can see here we have another type of uh, phishing email does it just says hello it doesn't say brian hi brian or anything like that so it doesn't know who i am it's got an attachment on here which means that you can easily uh, open this up by mistake and eventually what will happen is you'll either get infected and these can be any sort of uh, infection it could be ransomware could be a rat could be all sorts of different types of uh, infection. You can see this one is coming out of Dubai. I've not ordered anything from Dubai. I've not been communicating with people in Dubai. So it's more than likely a spam email. So I'm just going to ignore uh, this particular email. But these are the sort of things you have to look out for. Here is another one here. And uh, you can see here, this is saying it's a, a lottery. So I've won the lottery all of a sudden. And this is called the ATM million uh, lottery uh, generator and I'm pretty sure this is another type of scam you can see the amount of money they're saying that I've uh, generated and won uh, which is always nice because that means I can live a very comfortable life with this sort of uh, money you got the reference number there and a bunch of other nonsense on here it's got my email address it's probably just the generic type of email which they just fill in the blanks and it gets sent out to everyone who have got or on their uh, mailing list you can see here the final notice is up the top which they're telling me i've got to act quickly and this is what they generally do they just try to um, catch people out and people think they've won something and of course they will respond to it this is more of a, a nasty malicious type email here which is going to try to generate them some money you can see this one is from a particular person and uh, what they're saying basically is they've been watching my activity on my computer I installed some software which allows them to take control of my camera and this will then allow them to view me through the camera and they said they've actually recorded me watching uh, pornographic websites and uh, they've got a video of me and they would like two thousand dollars to uh, keep their silence basically and this is what they do so they know people do watch that sort of stuff online and they're hoping that i'm one of these people and i'm going to be frightened that they've now got a file with me doing what they've said they've seen me do and of course and the file was called brian.mp4 as you can see here so it's very uh clever how they can work all this stuff out but it's just a a fear tactic and hoping that you're going to go oh my god they've caught me doing something online and they've got a video i'll definitely give them the money to keep them silent and that's what they do but basically they're not going to get any money out of me now this one is a pretty common one this gets sent out doesn't know who i am it just says hello and it also says good day doesn't say my name and it's just basically pointing at the fact that they've got a bunch of money and i'm not going to read all of this but you can generally get the idea here sometimes what they generally do is ask you to give them a certain amount of money to release the um will or something else that they've got these these change all the time and uh, they're a big scam uh, people do fall for this sort of stuff but you know you can see here with various financial gifts um they want to give me something i'm pretty sure but they also want to rip me off in the process so be careful when you're looking at these talk, sort of things investments and uh, other things like these these are pretty common for scamming people 
These are another type of email you may be getting, which are notifications for undelivered emails. And what they want you to do is click on a particular type of link, which will be release, always allow or deny. And you can see they're all pointing to the same place. It's a redirect. And this is a OneDrive secure file that it's going to send down probably to me, or it may be a malicious site that you're going to be very careful with these particular types of uh, websites. These do uh, send you an email at random. You may think you're missing emails, you'll click on something and the next thing you know you're infected or you're going to get some sort of a scam done. So you can see they're related to banking and also shipping and stuff like that. And uh, these also change up a little bit. So a little bit later on I'll show you a few more of these that I keep getting. And I'm not getting any of these uh, emails held, it's just that they say that this is a case that these are being held from me. You can see the web address up the top here and the description there. So they come from different addresses all, all the time. So don't pay no attention to these, just block these or delete them. Here we have another one which says caution hacker attack on your computer. This is basically telling me that they've got access to my operating system. They also have full access to my account and they also have infected my computer and they can also see that I've been visiting adult sites and they've also got recordings of me and recorded my using my microphone and my camera just trying to scare among you and get you to pay 500 US dollars using Bitcoin and this is another one of those little scams hoping that people are going to feel really uh, scared that they've been caught doing something which they haven't got any information on you whatsoever so you can rest assured that this is just another one of those types of emails that you're going to receive in fear that uh, if you don't pay them they're going to release all this information about you what the what you've been up to on the internet so just pay no attention to them they are literally um, malicious emails which are trying to get you to pay and again five hundred dollars this one wants a uh, bitcoin so pay no attention to them just delete them and uh, you can see the address up the top there and we have another one of these undelivered mail notifications. You have nine pending emails to download them. Download them now. I'm not going to download them because it's probably going to be a malicious file that's going to infect my system. You can see here it's another web address, web mail. It'll redirect you to there. It'll ask you to put all your details in. And it'll probably download a file which is going to infect your computer. There's no emails that you're going to download. So be very careful that you don't fall for this little trick. And you can still get the idea that they're switching this up every now and again and you're getting bombarded with these and you can see the admin at secureserver.net all they've done is just bought a domain name called secureserver.net and added an email address called admin to it and now they're bombarding people this on the hope that you uh, log in or download these emails from that location and give them all your details so be very very careful they can get a lot of information from emails and this is generally how they can do that now how do i know these are fake because this is a template that the guy sent me before he sent me the edited version so the scammer actually sent me his own template without editing it first so he's a complete idiot as you can see here it's got domain and it's also got dear user which should be my name and it's also got your mailbox which should be my email and then it should be the following web address should be my mailbox supposedly because he then sent me an edited version after we finished editing it you can see here this has not been edited at all this is a template that they give to other scammers to try and scam other people so then he sends me this one which is now had all the boxes filled in which is of course the edited version which he should have sent me instead of sending me this one so the guy's a complete buffoon as you can see but you know if he's trying to con someone into logging into their account and obviously he'll have all your details then your email you can see here probably end up asking you for a payment to pay for the more capacity and of course you won't get no more capacity you're just going to end up getting ripped off and he'll have all your information and they'll probably have access to your email you can see here very um, very cheap and easy to set up but you'll be surprised how gullible some people are and they do fall for this sort of stuff if you're not uh, up to speed with how these uh, scammers work and again, you don't have to be very tech savvy to fill out one of these. You just fill in the blanks, just like this is here. And it's like those uh, stop error codes that uh, the scammers make to 
try and trick people you can see that it can be quite convincing once it's filled out correctly and then they send it to you here's another uh, version of incoming message report for my address release allow and deny and of course they all lead to the same place and they're all redirected to another location and what they're trying to do is get money out of you here's another version of it which they keep sending and maybe they're thinking that because I didn't fall for the other one that I might fall for the 50 million other ones that they're going to probably send me later on down the line. Now, if you want to do something about these, you can block them. You can also, uh, you know, report them to the correct phishing sites and they will be added to the database. And of course, they can then do something about it and start restricting some of these domain names and also uh, blacklisting them. And it will stop people from getting them. And this is what you need to do. Now, of course, I just want to point out that there's a lot of uh, other scams out there, not just emails. There's the stop error code scams and a bunch of other ones on there, uh, you know, like inland revenue and other sorts of stuff. There's tons and tons of them. And some YouTubers do create content online just to uh, for entertainment value. And I think it's wrong, really. What we should be doing is educating people and also trying to bring these people down and bring them to justice rather than wasting their time uh, and trying to earn money on YouTube for uh, you know entertainment value it's not really that funny when you're getting ripped off so just bear in mind there's a ton of people that are falling for this sort of stuff and if they wasn't falling for it then they wouldn't be making these sort of emails so it must be prosperous for these particular types of scammers so bear that in mind when you're making entertainment videos which are you know a bit of a fun you know when, it, when it's not fun for the person that's getting scammed now here is another one uh, the person doesn't know me says hello also, it says account, greetings, and call for partnership. Now, what this person's doing is basically lying, and you can tell he's lying because he says he's a Briton and he lives in the UK or in England. But in, in this part of the message here, it says over there in your country. And this is normal for someone who's trying to spin a yarn. Uh, they will actually trip up and uh, lie. And, of course, when they lie, they can't tell the truth because obviously the truth is not there and of course that what will happen is they will uh, end up slipping up and saying over there in your country like this one so basically uh, this person is not in the UK he's not in the uh, England at all he says he's a manager of crude oil and gas company here in England and yet he's saying over there in your country so he's obviously in a foreign country and uh, basically trying to pretend he's in England uh, another thing here, final warning, email account uh, will be de deactivated in 24 hours. Click here to validate uh, your uh, email and you can see it's going to another place here. So this is another thing that must be big right now because I've got tons of these. I've been getting loads of these sort of emails. They must think that was born yesterday. What they're hoping for is that you're going to click on it and spend money to extend your storage bandwidth. Here we have another one with an attach file. You don't really want to click on these attach files. Not good. You can end up getting infected by opening up attachments or executable files. Sometimes they're masked as JPEGs and they're actually executable files. You've got all sorts of problems when you click on things like this. So don't, uh, they don't know me because they're just saying hi. And yet you would have thought it would have been hi Brian, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. And of course we've got another one here saying that he's one. 768 million dollars on the uh, lottery jackpot and he wants to give me four million dollars of it which is very nice of him as you can see here if i just contact him here and of course there'll be some sort of scam he'll say now to release that money i will need a certain amount of money to release the money and then i'll give you four million dollars or something along those lines but they will be asking for money from you first before they give you money and that's normally how it works and as you can see here we have another email pending type of uh, scam that's going on and they're just literally changing these up daily and I'm just getting bombarded with them so these are what uh, we call phishing emails or scam emails or you know junk mail just filter it out delete them whatever you need to do to get rid of them it's very easy to do if you want to learn how to delete them just hover over the actual email itself right click on it and then you can either delete it it's very simple to do uh, or you can uh, uh, f filter it out so delete or you can go to junk block sender or you can block the domain whatever you want to do there it's very easy to do 
Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been helpful to you. Have a great day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.